where I am long on thoughts, but short on time. Ralph breaks the internet. I love period pieces. Seriously, before I poo-poo this for rehashing everything we already know about the internet, this has been the top grossing film for almost a month now. Wow, that means I've done the top three, and noticeably, they are all from familiar worlds, be they a remake or sequels. Let's look into that. With good world building, you can see a lot of the acceptance of yes and. And here, well, the world is known. It's built. The rules are pretty clear. They just need to be, well, anthropomorphized. And yeah, this movie is further proof that everything can be anthropomorphized. Personal taste tangent? I like that word. Anthropomorphized. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. So yes, with the rules of the internet as familiar, a great opportunity is revealed to focus on further character development, switching from yes anding everything to if this was true, then what else can be? And it is wonderfully effective. These characters don't always believe in themselves. They can be bad friends. They are insecure, vulnerable, easily distracted by and motivated by their fears. And it's great! The backdrop of the internet automatically makes this a period piece rather than a nostalgia piece. Whereas the days of the arcade are gone, giving us a degree of separation and longing for our youths, there is no separation from the internet. And it is still so vibrantly in its own youth that it makes us long for maturity. Or as Bo Burnham points out, we all act like eighth graders on the internet. One more plug for his movie. If you haven't already, please enjoy the awkward glory of eighth grade. Meantime, back to Ralph. The animation here is beautiful and picks up where the last one left off. And Sarah Silverman and John C. Riley are so good. Anyway, this story even feels like a natural growth out of the first. A natural growth. Uh, rather than Alfred Molina's character. Molly, 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 Molly. And getting to explore vulnerabilities is a welcome departure from typical message movies. Speaking of, the Disney princesses, that scene, um, I'll just say it. It's brilliant. I wanted more of that and less of almost everything else. Anyway, uh, poignantly, not like the tradition of those princesses, they are so flawed, vulnerable, wrong, contradictory, well, complex, that it actually allows this story to not have a clear-cut separate villain. Because in the end, as we see, they can be their own worst enemy. And that's one of the things underneath that kept coming back to me. He was lost long ago, but it's all coming back to me. This exploration of being our own worst enemy, of thinking we are helping when we actually might be hurting, points to a huge problem when these stories typically stay on the you can do anything, it's all inside you, well-meaning lie. With the latter, we focus on ourselves, us, our orbit, our world, our willpower. One unpleasant and understandably ignored logical fallout is that our friends can become consumers we take from, tools we build on, and or simply just potential fans of likes and hearts. But once we recognize and share with those we care about our own feelings, insecurities, we can stop. Listen, we can stop asking others to orbit around us. We learn to forgive. We begin to see that we don't have the power inside us naturally, that it has to be given, and it can only be received the moment we admit we are broken, glitched, and when left to our own devices, the potential enemy. Okay, uh, back up. It's just a kid's film. Yeah, but that's awesome because there's so much good to be taken from this slick, seemingly whimsical, jam-packed story. Now, does this rank up there as one of the great Disney films? I doubt it will. But then again, not everything can be a main course. This is more like truffle fries or a cronut or avocado toast, a way to turn an old favorite snack into something special, new, a reason we can't buy a house, and ultimately, in this case, something filling and delightful. Agree? Disagree? Any other animated sequel this year actually have something to say also? In the spirit of breaking the internet, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's decode pop culture one story at a time. And that's my Monday. Now back to yours. Video kill the radio star. Video kill the radio star. Also, how can you just not love Celine Dion? Coming back.